What is good, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports talk. As in breaking news, guys, about an hour ago, that's going to be Call of Duty League changes. Worrying for investors, but great for the rest of us, so I really can't complain too much. First brought to us by Adam Stern. Apparently a rollback of some Call of Duty events out there. We're not sure about the exact structure so far. If you guys were aware, though, it was going to be pretty much almost half the year, almost every single week, seeing events, sporadically seeing teams at some of the events, but not others. Rarely would we see all of the teams actually at the same event, and the typical format would be you win your series, you lose your series, and, th and then you go home. It was a very weird format. Many people out there questioning if this would work out in terms of actually wanting to watch your best team or your favorite team out there compete once, maybe twice, and then all of a sudden you, you just, you know, you're done watching. Uh, with this alpha also information out there, guys, apparently reduced amount of events, and most importantly, now brought to us and reinforced by Charlie Intel, we should be seeing a tournament structure also brought upon, which means competitive COD lands will still be a thing, which is what everyone wanted. Every team at the same event, tournament structure, one winner, not uh, several teams out there winning their series so they all kind of win the weekend kind of thing. One winner throughout the weekend, everyone there is competing or at least sometime throughout the Call of Duty season will be seeing this uh, evidently more than we would have with the previous structure. Now with all of this being said though, it's still horrendous these changes are being made so close to the season but I I'll give it words, credit where it's credit is due guys, is the fact this is a move in the right direction. I do believe almost every single week seeing these COD events where it just be best of series between these two teams and then those two teams probably won't compete again. I didn't think it would work out. So I do actually appreciate this update, but the timing of it, it has to be worrying for some people, right? And I also thought it was very curious the original source, whoever Adam Stern did talk to, the reason for this is because organizations felt the pressure of hosting both OWL events alongside CDL events in their home city. Now this makes a lot of sense. I'm sure many of you guys know a lot of these Call of Duty organizations also own Overwatch teams and they also have that home venue model where you host events in your city throughout the year. It can be pretty, you know, uh, especially with these new teams out there, these new staff as well, having to host events for both OWL and CDL. I understand that could be nerve wracking, having to do all of that and coordinate all of that stuff. I can't imagine the pressure, especially for two separate leagues in the same year. And especially with the schedule, sometimes you could be hosting events, maybe the same weekend, maybe back to back weekends. That can be a lot of pressure to put on any esports organization out there. And that's why they're backing away a little bit from this model. We don't know the total of new restructure. I will say though overall a great thing for talent, a great thing for players and viewers. It puts a lot more, I would say, not necessarily pressure but a lot more prominence on these events, especially a tournament structure where we see if not most, all the teams there competing and certainly puts more of a I don't know. I enjoy it more myself. You guys can leave your thoughts down below. I'm super excited to see how this does work out. In breaking news, Call of Duty is already restructuring their 2020 Call of Duty League format, which is pretty shocking. I will say it's great for all of us out there, but if I was an investor who just dumped 25 plus million dollars into a league who, by the way, has not figured out who is hosting what at what point at what week, I'd be a bit worried about this, especially when it comes down to however many events we have. Whether it's 16, 18, 20, 24 events, whatever it is, those events bring you as an investor a big return, or at least some return, and you need that to reap back what you, of course, did so into a lot of these organizations. If I was an investor, I'd be worried, but I'm a player, I'm a viewer, I'm, a, I'm not a, a talent out there, but if, if you guys are any of those, you're probably very happy about this. Call of Duty League 2020 season is still set upon us and very, very shortly coming up, and they're still making huge changes. What do you guys think about this one? As always, my name is Jake breaking down esports gaming news here every single day all day long enjoying new year's eve or new year's day whoever you guys are out there whatever your time zone might be until next time take care enjoy your year i'll, I'll be back back here